20 RDSE Grey Wolf here at Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And these SEs, or special editions, or as I like to think of them, simplified editions, are something that I think we've been missing the ball on the last couple of years. We've um, really prided ourselves in, in bringing to the table very feature-packed, exciting, fun RVs the last few years, and we kind of lost track of the site that every now and then, some folks just want a basic camper. Not everybody needs something that's loaded up to the gills, and uh, you know, that can affect the weight, that can affect the price tag, that can affect a lot of different things. Some folks want a basic, no-nonsense, reliable little camper, a good infantry soldier, down in the trenches, taking care of your family type camper, and that's exactly what this is. It's got a couple really intelligent um, features, like a couple areas I could see where they could have made it less expensive, but they used a smarter component. Um, things that you're gonna use and touch every day that I think was, was a really good decision. Um, the, uh, if you're curious at any point what this runs, by the way, all you gotta do is click down here, it says check for price and availability. That'll show you what we have in stock and how much we're asking for it, uh, because uh, pricing packages can change through the year depending on manufacturers incentives that's always the best way to give you the most accurate information what's cool is what they didn't do and thank gosh they didn't do it they did not sacrifice structure to reduce cost on this one they did it the right way what I mean by that this still has everything that makes a chair uh, a Cherokee trailer which the gray wolf is a member of the Cherokee family Cherokee being Forest Rivers number one selling series of travel trailers ever um, everything that has made it a good reliable top, not even top five, top three seller. Um, so we do have a full walk on roof. We do have an extra thick aluminum nose sweep. The entire nose is extra thick and, and essentially stone deflecting and will uh, combat those headwinds from concaving in the nose going down the road. Um, the Tongue groove plywood floor decking, the average of 12 inch on center wall studs are still here. All the things that make this so good in its class are good. Now, this uh, still has the good looking mag wheels because essentially with the volume purchasing power they have at Forest River, they can give you some of those good looking features without actually affecting the price tag of this. By standardizing things, they can control the cost of it. They did go with uh, a very awesome power awning here and it is a pitch adjustable power awning um, and you think well you know they could have saved a little money with a manual you could but you're gonna use this probably multiple times every single day so it's really smart that they actually upgraded that now what's cool you see this is a little no slide camper I don't know if you're paying attention to that as I walked around the slides are not in it just doesn't have any that means this thing is going to be very inexpensive and lightweight this is just about uh, 4100 and what 55 pounds or something like that yet you're still gonna get a nice couples camping rear living area with some good window space on it. You can see the windows around here. And we still have a front walk around bed, private bathroom, everything that matters, nothing that doesn't. Uh, nice little touch because this is just a standardized thing at Cherokee. They were still able to include a little propane quick connect up here right by the tongue. So if you want to bring a little outside grill with you, you got the spot to do it. Exact same underbed storage as any other big Cherokee pass through trailer or Grey Wolf by extension. Um, we still have a sweet friction hinge door, so that door you see can't slam against the awning arms. Um, uh, the uh, outside speaker system here connects to your indoor entertainment system, so you get some good TV outside. Uh, they, I mean, they've done a great job with this by putting in just the things that matter. Now, once again, their standardization is going to come through to, to pay you uh, off nicely here. Like we have a uh, full uh, waterproof resin top press membrane countertop here so that you can't worry about splashing water around your sink and causing sponging or swelling of anything there. You know what, let's come back to the kitchen. I don't want to lose my spot. I want to go through my normal rotation so I don't miss stuff. So uh, we've got all LED lighting in here. So you've got actual very good lighting in this thing and you can see that it's all just one click easy. Um, LED lighting will last so much longer magnitudes tens of magnitudes longer um it doesn't produce heat like led bulb or pardon me incandescent bulbs um it just it's just a better component basically that's one of those things that it, it might be a couple pennies more up front it's so much better down the line big floor to ceiling pantry over here and that is a nice thing in this floor plan you're not really sacrificing much to get it 
Um, you know, again, for just a little couple's camper, you've got great visibility, great windows. If you've got a, a little trailer and you want to, you know, you have a little woodland sort of campsite or something, this thing's awesome. Uh, big full rear dinette here too. So this can fold down into like almost a seven and a half foot bed. Now, just like the kitchen counters are seamless, you still have the same resin top countertop here because they standardize that at Cherokee. You get a better component standard with them. And we've got great storage under that dinette as well. As I spin around here, if you choose, you can add a TV in this area over here. That's what that little stand is for. And I love how open this is because I'm looking at that in my head. I'm saying, I'm putting a trash can right there. That's the perfect place for a wastebasket. Or you can put an extra little storage shelving unit or simply just enjoy the nice wider open space. Um, up here, all in one, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth. So you do have good entertainment options in here uh, too. Now we've got a nice little complement of uh, stainless stuff here with our range hood and our microwave. And it really go the the whole uh, light dark contrast they have going through this kitchen is fantastic. Even here in a base level camper, they still have real tile, uh, like a, a rubberized sort of shower tile backsplash. It's easy to clean. It looks good. And it's not a wallpaper like you seem to find a lot in this business. Now, they didn't put an oven in here. And once again, genius. Genius move on their part. Um, looking at used campers, guys, if, if one out of 10 RVs ever have their oven used, I'd be shocked. I mean, I haven't put actual stats to it, keep that in mind, but I've been doing this a long time. I've got over, close to 2,400 of these videos done at this point. I've seen some stuff, I've seen some trailers. And this big drawer right here is so much better than an oven for 99% of RVers. And notice too, even on a basic level camper, they're not using a press board with a sticker wrap cabinetry our uh, drawers here. This is all plywood, tongue groove plywood type uh, construction stuff here. It's the same material as your floor deck. Um, underneath the counter, they used all the space they could in different ways. There's, uh, they block that off because there's like water pump down there and they don't want you shifting cargo and busting it. And they still give you a couple nice big drawers for your forks and spoons and knives. A big sink, large enough you could actually wash a baby in it if you felt like. And I love that just like their, their uh, very current, very modern Cherokee trailers, um, they went with the, the glass insert here in the kitchen upper cabinets just to give it some of that light penetration and pass through. And I tell you what, my balding head is really shining off that uh, microwave right there. Holy cow. Um, totally carpetless. No slides means no need for carpet. So this thing is, it, you can just broom it out the door and be done with it. You still have a full walk around bed. You've got uh, bedside stands with household outlets so you can still run your CPAP machines. Even extra nice lighting here in the, in the bedroom area. They've done a nice job with a simple camper. I really like it. Now bathroom, what I like here, entry door bathroom right there it's easy access so whether you're going down the road or just at your campsite if you just want to hop in and out real quick you can do it and notice we have a foot flush not a centrifugal that requires you to put your uh, nose near your business no one no one's interested in that still a seamless pressed membrane countertop because again that's the standard component with them they still have shower wall surround paneling still have the largest in class medicine cabinet which again doesn't sound like an exciting thing but it's a Every single day you're gonna use that sort of item. You're gonna be in and out of that medicine cabinet all the time. So isn't it nice to actually have a big one that can help keep your countertops open? Again, I'm a big fan of this. We've seen this floor plan be successful in different brands and all of a sudden it just occurred to us, we've got one of the very best selling series of trailers here in the world and we're not exploiting the fact that they make an amazingly well appointed base level camper for folks. So give us a call and learn more. 800-256-5196. We are Halet RV. We are in beautiful Coldwater, Michigan. 800-256-5196. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.